Hello Legion, this is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Civilization VI in our Polish Winter series. Alright, so we need to set up a few embassies. One with the Aztec, one with the Russians. But first, let me go ahead and get metal casting set up so that we have access to better artillery. Now, let's go ahead and see about an embassy. Um... Oh. Oh, wait, no, we already have an embassy with, with Russia, don't we? Hang on. We're declared friend. I guess we already have an embassy with them. Interesting. Huh. I'm confused. Where's the embassy option? It's normally under the discussion options, and I'm just, it's not, I'm not seeing it. Maybe by virtue of, wait a minute. Maybe by virtue of them establishing an embassy, we also have one? Delegate or embassy sent? Okay, maybe we don't have maybe we haven't researched embassies yet. Hang on. That's probably what it is. That's probably what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. Diplomatic service. We don't have it yet, but some of them do, which is worrisome, which makes me want to take a look at world rankings. Russia is leading culture victory. I'm leading science victory. Russia is leading religious victory, but we have a strong enough religion to where we can probably resist that. Interesting. Okay. Um well, that explains why we don't have access to embassies yet. My bad. All right, so we're going to work on that in this episode. We're probably going to get to that tech this episode as well. All right, Poznan needs... You need a harbor. Oh, yeah, definitely. You need a harbor. Plus two gold for that harbor. Now, this unit, we're just going to have them on alert. You need to build a mine there. Go to the next turn. We have a settler building in Gniezno. And also a commercial hub building in Krakow, which will really help with our income situation. Our income is not bad, but we just need it to be higher. Our economy is not quite as productive as it should be. All right, tell you what, come down here and set up shop on those fish. Oh, no, 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 no. Pearls, that's what we need. I bought this tile, but I never actually improved it. I was like last episode or the episode before that, so you guys have probably been yelling at me. The growth of your religion comes with the danger of schism. Reforming corrupt church practices better happen soon. So, reformed church. We will have less to work toward with that regard now. Cairo is not happy with me. However, we are friends with And first, Hephaestus makes Russia. a great and massive shield. And he forged on the shield two noble cities. All right. Let's go ahead and go for astronomy, because we want to try and go for the Patala Palace, if at all possible. We're already going for the Forbidden City, which will be done in 15 turns, which hopefully we'll get, but apparently there are some other nations that are a little bit ahead of us, so uh, this could be a little dicey. All right, I'm going to go ahead and build a bank here. It's going to take seven turns in our existing commercial district in Gniezno. And we need... Oh, wow, look, we can build a city right there. That, I'm, that might be actually kind of perfect, because there's a perfect campus spot right there. Yeah, let's do it. That is an amazing spot for a city. Aztecs aren't going to be happy, but, I mean, it's just so well defended. And we'll have a great campus spot again. So it'll take a second for that settler to get down there, but not a lot happening per turn right now, so it's pretty easy to move through it. We're actually approaching turn 150. All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Okay. Let's see. Yep, let's go for Reform Church so we can get Theocracy, because that is a government I will switch to, absolutely. And now we have access to the Lighthouse here, so I'm going to go ahead and build that. And let's go to the next turn. Oh, wait, nope. Aha! Pearls. Done. Alright, so we currently do not have any amenities issues, which is awesome. Alright, so we're sending this settler down to where this scout... This scout... 
<laughs> is currently hanging out. Almost called him a cout. Your progress towards colonialism has advanced Astronomy considerably. Astronomy compels the soul to look upwards and leads us from this world to another. Yes, it does. Okay, let's go for siege tactics so we get access to Renaissance walls. And I'm going to go ahead and build this unique building. Notice our income is now much higher, and we're going to keep cranking it up to where it's better and better. All right, meanwhile, let's go ahead and head over to this rice because we need to improve that. I think our new city will probably have access to it. Our new settler is just a few turns away from getting there. This will be our seventh city that we founded, too. So all of our cities right now await. Oh, all right, barbarians up here. I don't feel particularly threatened by them. But I can build ancient walls next turn. The lighthouse will be done. So there is a barbarian encampment up here. Right, let's go ahead and build the bank. Oh, yeah. 21.8 gold now per turn. And up here, we're going to build ancient walls. It'll take three turns, but we'll be able to defend against barbarians. We can also build a unit up there if we really, really have to. Settlers almost arrived. I'm so excited about that city spot. All right, so they pillaged our lumber mill. You jerks. I mean, I'm not surprised. Okay, so we will now be able to found that city. That is an amazing spot for a campus. I cannot wait to build one there. We also, speaking of campuses, hang on. We have a lot of faith, and we need to use it. I don't like to commit myself about heaven nice. and hell. Oh, I cut off a Sean Bean quote. I was so excited to change governments. My bad. All right, theocracy. So we will get a discount on faith purchases, which are good for us, because we already have a religion that is helping us with faith purchases, and we can buy land combat units with faith. So let's go ahead and switch to the new government type. And now we have access to some new policies. Double faith yield from holy site district buildings. That's tempting. But also tempting is 100% campus district adjacency bonuses. So let's go ahead and do that. And then plus one gold from each of your envoys at city states. That's also useful. Conscription is our current policy. Uh, we can probably stick with that one, can't we? Yeah. Done. 32.8 gold per turn. <laughs> Not bad at all. Let's go and go for diplomatic service so we get access to that embassy, which I was so confused about at the beginning of the episode. Uh, come back here, and we need to improve those bananas. Settle that spot. Uh, Radom. I'm going to take a guess. All right, let's go ahead and purchase the granary. And then queue up the water mill for production and go to the next turn. So we've got a... a oh no! Islam has arrived. So we're going to have to tell the Aztecs to bugger off. Religion has reared its ugly head. Okay, where's the discuss button? It's not there. I should be able to say to him, hey, stop it. It's really weird. Okay, Charles Darwin, recruit. Now I need to send him to a natural wonder, I think. All right, so our progress towards the Enlightenment has substantially improved. Tell you what, let's go ahead and get a musketman built here. I, I can buy one with faith, actually. Let's buy a, a winged hussar and let them deal with these guys up here. We've been waiting to see those units in action. Now it's about time. All right, we have access to some more traders now, too. So I'm going to go ahead and queue up another trader in Gniezno. And we will go for a shipyard in Lublin. Lublin, rather. Have we already built a... Uh... Oh, yeah, there's already a plantation there. I couldn't... Okay, yeah, I can see it now. It just didn't look like it from afar. 
All right, well, in that case, um, there's some fish over here that need to be improved, so we need to work on that. Okay, we need to send Charles over here because this is Mount Everest, so it would take four turns either way. Let's just go this direction. He needs to be near a natural wonder in order for his ability to work. And that ability, by the way, is... We'll take a look in just a second. The lowest is to attack a city. Siege of a city is only done as a last resort. Remember, Sun Tzu said that. The author of the Art of War. <laughs> okay. Um, we can't actually see his ability right now. We can't see it until we're actually at a spot where we can use it. Let's go for square rigging. So we have slightly better ships. Okay, and now let's send the Winged Hussar up here to tangle with the Barbarians. They should be able to handle the Barbarian units hands down. Eastern Orthodoxy has also arrived, so a couple of religions are going to start trying to push back against us here. Looks like Radom has actually been converted to Islam, so we're going to have to work on that. We've got plenty of faith. Knowledge of economics has advanced considerably. Speaking of faith, let's go ahead and purchase an apostle because we need to add an additional belief. And then let's go ahead and buy a missionary as well. So we can work on that. All right, ancient walls, probably be a good thing. But sooner than that, I would rather have the Potala Palace. Ooh, we can only build it on top of the copper. Never mind. That's a really big part of this city's production. So let's just do a new trader in Krakow and go to the next turn. Four turns away from the Forbidden City, which is going to give us another um, wild card slot. I think. Okay, food. Okay, you can hang out for a bit. Next turn, our Winged Hussar has arrived up in Lublin, so we're going to see what's going on there. They are really going to... Oh, they have a number of units ready to attack Gignesno with religion. Not good. Okay, so 500 science for each natural wonder tile here or adjacent. I really wish we had a better natural wonder to use this on. There's actual natural wonders that you can stand literally in the middle of a seven hexagon set of tiles. You can stand in the center tile with six tiles all around you and get the maximum bonus. It's amazing. Here we can only get a thousand science, but it's still going to be good. There is little man has made that approaches anything in nature, but a sailing ship does. <laughs> That's a good quote, too. All right, let's go ahead and go for ballistics. This is going to give us the field cannon, which is an upgrade for our crossbowman. Let's go ahead and evangelize belief with our apostle. Now, up here, what needs to be built? I guess another trader would be best. Choose belief. Okay, unfortunately, one of the other belief that I was going to go for got taken but there's some, still some there are still some uh some good ones here let's see plus one gold for four followers each campus or commercial hub city, uh district in a city following this religion provides plus one science or plus one gold respectively let's go for that confirm all right so this missionary needs to come up here and we're going to just work to push back against Ginezno against the religious tide in Guinea's now, actually. All right, so this is a brand new trader. So we're gonna set up a road to Radom. And we're gonna cross here and see what we can do with our winged Hussars, which should be ready to charge forward and hit those guys next turn. This, these are pikemen, so they're gonna do a little bit of damage to me, probably. Yeah, this is a minor victory. But we should push them back here because we did more damage than them. Oh, it's so cool. All right, we pushed them back. If we can corner them, we can do even more damage to them. Okay. Could I build another settler, maybe? Would it be overkill? Or would it be wise? I feel like maybe... Yeah, let's do another winged Hussar. Okay, shipyard down here would be a good idea, but then again, so would the Great Lighthouse. Lots of choices. Mont Saint Michel is also buildable. Let's go ahead and get a Caravel built. It's going to take, oh wow, 21 turns? Jeez, that's a long time. In that case, tell you what, let's go ahead and build the shipyard first. It's going to take 24 turns. 
But if it makes it easier to build stuff in the future, then I will take it. Okay, so this trader, let's send them to an external city. But the question is, which external city? I guess Yerevan. I think we have a couple of trade routes with Yerevan now. Can I not? Here's the trade route overview. Yeah, we have Gniezno and Krakow heading to Yerevan. Excellent. All right. Let's go ahead and spread religion here in Gniezno. Need to push back against this sudden arrival of Eastern Orthodoxy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're going to try and push back too. So it looks like there's a, I think this is a Russian unit that's up here. The whole trying to help palace us that. complex yes. is built along a central axis. All right. The axis of the world. Everything in the four directions suspend from this central point, represented by these palaces. Okay, so we have the Forbidden Palace in Wroclaw, and that means we also have the ability to, I could go and start going for the Potala Palace. Totally could. I can build it right there, actually. Let's do it. I mean, that's going to be another policy slot. If we can get to that wonder, uh, that's, that's going to be huge. Speaking of that, um, let's actually go for Gothic architecture so we can build a little faster. Still saying 40 turns. Oh, actually, actually it just changed to uh, 33. All right, let's spread religion here. We're going to keep pushing back to try and prevent them from converting that city. And let's let the Hussars keep doing their thing. Beautiful. All right, there's the encampment. We can probably take that next turn and not deal with barbarians up here anymore. And there's no one in it either, unless someone were to... Sp uh, <laughs> unless they do that. Industrial era at 1550 AD. Let's get on our knees and pray. I don't know to whom. Is there a patron saint of ballistics yet? <laughs> Hearing Sean Bean in his accent quote Adam Savage is just beyond awesome. Okay, promotion available for that Hussar. That's fantastic. All right. So now we're hearing Poland's new industrial theme. Let's go for the scientific theory so we have access to Oxford University. Going to keep pushing towards a science path at the moment. They are really trying hard to convert Kinyesno. Um, Requires a population of seven or greater to have a holy site. Let's go ahead and build um, ancient walls, just in case we ever do get into a fight here. And I'm going to spread religion here, just to keep pushing back. Meanwhile, I also want to use this trader. Let's send them to Seoul. And go to the next turn. Ah, the Aztec and Russia are at war. So we're going to want to keep an eye on this over here and see if any territory changes hands. That was kind of inevitable, I would think. Alright. Going to give them the charge promotion. Increased trade route capacity, so we can build two more trade routes. Um, a lighthouse would probably be a good purchase to make here. Let's go ahead and buy that rather than build it. And then build the shipyard as well. Hmm... I'm just going to do a trade with Rotswav here at this point, because that'll help crack out with its... Or crack out, crack off, sorry, with its production. And I just, I feel like that's the right move to make right now. Just making sure that our central city is as productive as possible. Okay, so he's not happy. Okay, so we no longer have any missionaries around Gniezno, which is a welcome change. I could build an additional trader, so let's do that. And we'll bring this Huzar back down to Lublin. Okay, Arabia is really not happy. We're probably going to have some kind of nuclear war with them at some point. <laughs> I'm just going to imagine there's there's not going to be... I, I just I feel like they're going to have to go somewhere. Just saying. They're not going to be able to stick around. Rotswab a diplomat is... is a man who always remembers a woman's birthday, but never remembers her age. 
Okay, changing policies, we now have better spy production, but I'm not going to worry about that. So now, 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 we can establish embassies. Establish resident mm -hmm. embassy. So it's not a discussion option, it's just the... I don't know why I thought it was a discussion option. Maybe I'm thinking Civ Five, but... Okay, so we've got an embassy set up with Russia. Let's go ahead and set one up with the Aztecs as well. Alright, they're not interested. Not surprised. He's not as happy with me at the moment. Okay, now new civics. Let's go ahead and go for humanism because I want access to those museums. We don't have a district built yet where we can actually build them, but I still want to have access to them. Let's go ahead and get some spies because it's time for that. And also... Oh, Hattusa. Awesome. All right, Hattusa is definitely a place we want to be suzerain of if we can make it happen. So I'm going to work towards that. This winged Hussar can just go on alert. And it's going to be six turns until our very first spy is done. I need to take a look and see what we can buy with our current faith. Okay, we are friends with Russia. Again, interesting. Okay, let's do a shipyard in Wrocław. I just, again, I'm trying as hard as I can to get to a point where we can build ships faster. I'm going to build a great lighthouse up here in, in Lublin. No one's built it yet. It's 1590 AD and the great lighthouse of Alexandria doesn't exist yet. I'm going to build it. Um, it just, it, it seems like the right move to make. Uh, let's also, we can purchase with faith. Let's get an apostle here, and we need to head over to Radom. Okay, so can't do anything with him in that turn, but I will be able to promote him. We need to convert that city. Okay. Religious spread is triple strength in cities of other civilizations. Hmm... Relic is created if this apostle dies in theological combat. I mean, I, I guess I'll just do translator. And then we'll move him down to Radon as soon as possible. Okay, now what? Let's um, go ahead and go for medieval walls there. And then this trader trade with Lublin. It's nearby. Extra money. Extra food. The Aztecs hate me. Don't know why. I didn't do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know why they're so mad at me. I mean, I know I settled a city near them when they were thinking about expanding this direction, but what were they going to do? Claims Expand right up against my borders? Tested. Assertions immune to disproof are veridically worthless. Whatever value they may have in inspiring us or exciting our sense of wonder. Carl F. and Sagan. I've said before, if I had been old enough to appreciate that man as I do now when he passed, I would have been an inconsolable mess for like weeks on end. Because he was truly, truly a great man. Alright, let's um let's, let's trade with Buenos Aires here. So what where is that? I didn't even see. Okay, that's going to give some extra production to Krakow, some very welcome extra production on top of what we've already added. And we still have room for another trade route. Aztec has pillaged an enemy university with their swordsmen. 1610 AD, we're past turn 150. Looks like they're going to try and settle up here. Not terribly surprised. I'm happy with the cities that I have at the moment. Okay, let's go ahead and buy this temple. And then purchase the Watt. Fantastic. So, okay, it did it again. It did it again. What happened? The Great Lighthouse is just gone. We were building it there. There's no notification that it was built by someone else. It's just gone. What's the deal? Like, tell me when it... Mm. That's very, very frustrating. Okay. I don't know why that happened. Oh, I've got to repair that improvement, don't I? So we'll we'll use that builder we just queued up. Sorry, that's I know that's 
frustrating when I get frustrated, but like, I mean, hopefully it's understandable. Like, <laughs> it's just, I was building a wonder and all of a sudden I'm not. And I don't have the option to build it again. And the game has not notified me that someone else has built it. Like, what's, what's going on? All right, let's go ahead and we can launch an inquisition. Remind me how this works. Okay, what about... Okay, so, tell you what, let's launch an Inquisition here. What did that do? Okay, so, our influence is growing. What what effect did that have? My Apostle is now gone. I wasn't expecting that. What's the deal? Not sure. Well, I'll figure it out in a future episode, I'm sure. Okay, so um, we are at the 26 minute mark. I think I will go ahead and cut this one here. Let's take a quick look at the world rankings. Overall, we are leading. There's an unmet player leading in the religious victory. But again, I'm not concerned about the religious victory. I think we're going to be able to hold off the tide of, of religion from our world. If Scythia is here, then that would explain the presence of another empire randomly taking the lead from Russia. But... I don't know, it's an unmet leader, so it, it, there's really no telling. That's just a shot in the dark. So we're leading the domination victory, but I think everyone's tied, really. And then the culture victory, Russia is leading. We're leading the science victory, so it looks like we're going to go for a science victory um, because that's where we are succeeding the most. But I will go ahead and cut this one here. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New historical and grand strategy videos air daily at noon Eastern time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you next time.